Welcome to Classroom Logic 101. I'm your teacher, Kate. And today, we're gonna to be looking at the next installment in What the Teacher Read. So let's take a look. The Vanishing Coin is about a boy named Mike. Now, a little backstory on Mike. He has a reputation at school. So oftentimes, if something goes wrong, he is usually the one to get blamed for it, whether or not he is guilty or not guilty. And so for Mike, school is extremely difficult. It's not a place that he overly enjoys coming to. In addition to that, he has trouble doing his schoolwork and keeping up on his schoolwork. So now he has two reasons why school is difficult for him. And the third reason is he has an enemy in the story, and this enemy's name is Jackson. And Jackson enjoys very much when Mike gets into trouble. He enjoys very much kind of bullying Mike in a way. Mike comes from a great family. They're very loving to him. So you get the sense that Mike means well, even when he messes up. Now in comes Nora. Now Nora is his neighbor. And they become pretty fast friends and she's actually helping him to somewhat succeed in school. One day, Mike and Nora go into the magic shop called the White Rabbit. It's in their downtown area where they live and they meet Mr. Zerlin and Mr. Zerlin gives them a riddle to solve and Nora, she can't figure it out quick enough, so she kind of gives up. But Mike, on the other hand, he is intrigued, and he tries his best to solve it. Mr. Zerlin is so impressed with Mike that he actually um, kind of takes him under his wing and really starts teaching him the craft of magic. And this is something that Mike can finally feel success with. He becomes very invested in magic. Throughout the entire book, we see kind of a transformation in Mike. Not completely, he still has many of the same struggles that he had before. However, his shift and his attitude change throughout the book. So I highly suggest that if you are a teacher and you teach, you know, maybe third, second, third, or fourth grade, this would be a really fun read aloud for your kids. Um, they, mine loved it. They laughed throughout the entire thing. Many of them can relate to Mike. The other thing that I wanted to show you that's pretty cool is this. So throughout the book, as they're describing different magic tricks, they actually stop and show you how to do the magic trick. So if you wanted to practice that, you could. The Vanishing Coin is a book that students can relate to. It's not written above their level, it's not written under their level, but they genuinely like Mike, they genuinely like Nora, and they genuinely dislike Jackson. And I think students at any level can relate to each of the characters in some way. And so I do hope that you pick up this book because I think your students will really enjoy it. I think it's a nice addition to any classroom library. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and read on.